Hello! This video is to introduce you to the course outline, which serves as a contract between you and me for this course. I will review parts of the course outline, but please read it in detail very carefully. This course is developed by a curriculum committee and is guided by the practice competencies that we are required to address by, by our accreditation body, which is the Council on so Social Work Education. I'll go over the course outline and then we'll take a look at the e-college uh, site. So as you will see here, uh, my office address is here. I am available uh, for um, appointments, uh, either telephone, Skype, and email consults are always welcome. If needed, we can always schedule a face-to-face -face meeting. This particular course um, is a practice course. It is the first half of two required sequential courses in the professional foundation year. So this is the basic knowledge and skills uh, as a foundation for your advanced practice curriculum, which you will do the second year. Then the course goes over the information that gives you just an overview and then the course objectives. As you see, we'll be focusing on the purposes of social work practice, values and ethics, um, talking about your own personal attitudes and biases, and then focus on the different methods of social work, including individual work, group work, and family work. The required readings um, is from the book, The Miley, uh, Emilia and Dubois, 7th edition. When you purchase this, you will also have access to mysearchlab.com, and your user ID number is there for you. So you can get familiar with um, this site. You can use it on your own. I will use it occasionally for discussion questions, or I might upload one of the videos because they have a lot of uh, demonstration videos that are excellent that you can review on your own. But I might upload one for you to uh, watch as well. Then we have chapters from these supplemental books uh, which will be which are on your uh, doc sharing and all of your information uh, in terms of your uh, readings is here under doc sharing and you can explore that. The syllabus is also here as you can see I've uploaded it as a Word document as well. So let's go back to the syllabus and take a look at this. So course requirements. Of course you're to do all of your assigned readings in a timely manner. Uh, each week a new section will open up with the readings and there will be uh, a number of different um, things for you to do. There may be one or two and sometimes three PowerPoints for you to watch. Um, but once it opens up, it'll be open until the end of the um, class which will be in December. So I have it available up until December 21st. The discussion questions which you will be asked to do are only available during the week in which we are discussing them. Um, so again, familiarize yourself with the website uh, and also with the information in the syllabus. The um, Online discussions are required and it's important not to miss one of the assignments uh, as it will count against your grade. If you're having any difficulty with any of the uh, technology, your computer, it is important that you contact one of these resources. So computer repair, then you have assistance with online uh, information technology as well as eCollege help. 
I do suggest that you back up all of your information because things happen and computers crash. So it is important that you that you do that. Also, I'll go over this a little more in detail uh, shortly, but we do follow the NASW Code of Ethics and we will discuss that in uh, Section 3. So confidentiality is very, very important. This section goes over your responsibilities, uh, including the importance of being able to use APA style formatting. That is uh, required by our school, the sixth edition. I will provide you some help with that as we get into uh, preparing for your uh, first paper and for your final paper. For writings and uh, style guide resources, here are a number of websites I've included for you. There's also information from the Rutgers Library as well. And the guidelines for respecting and maintaining client confidentiality is something that I would like for you to read very careful, carefully. Uh, we are working with people and it is important that client confidentiality be adequately safeguarded. So in discussing case material, uh, either in your discussions or uh, in any of the questions or information that you post, it is critical that all client identifying information be effectively disguised. Specific names, addresses, places of employment, and or schooling need to be disguised. We also do not use specific names of supervisors um, as well so that uh, client to confidentiality of your work environment uh, can also be maintained. If you have questions regarding supervisors, then those are questions that should come to me independently, and I'll discuss that a bit more. Grading, I know you're interested in what uh, your final grade's going to be uh, made up of. Uh, basically, we have uh, paper number one, analysis of your field placement agency. There's a very detailed description of what this needs to include, as well as a sample paper. This is 10% of your grade, and this really is done to, for us to uh, understand what some of our expectations are, for you to know how I'm going to review papers, uh, and also the detail of APA style, which I will hold you to, and, and I will do that. Your midterm is an open book exam. I have given you two weeks to do your midterm exam. This will count as 35% of your grade. And again, more information will be provided for you on that. Your final paper, agency analysis and case study is worth 35% of your grade. Uh, this paper will actually be made up partially of your first paper, which will give you the back give, will will provide the background of your agency so it will be somewhat of a summary of your first paper and then you'll choose a client uh, or clients it could be a group uh, that you will study in more detail there are five class discussions four percent each for a total of twenty percent so the, this counts towards a class participation um, grade. So it's very important that you attend to the grading rubric and uh, do these uh, thoroughly on time and respond to the, the readings uh, as you will be asked to do. So written assignments, online discussions, these are the grades that um, will be assigned based on the various number of points, as you can see there. So then this is a, an example of uh, how the course is divided by sections. There are 15 sections, 
and for this first section I've gone into a little detail about what will be what is included. You have an introductory video uh, that's information about me then you have um, a, a questions that I have posed for you and then a uh, video to watch which is a brief a brief lecture I would say um, or actually there are two lectures I think that you will be asked to uh, review. There are no readings for section one as the readings begin in section two.